people come to the UK for many different reasons. I was brought here as a child and it wasn't my choice. I came when I was 13 and I was left with uh, someone I didn't really know and my dad left me with her and he went back to Sierra Leone. I was 12 when I came to the UK and um, I was put into foster care um, shortly before my 13th birthday. When I grew up as a young child, I always had an ambition of wanting to be someone, but at this stage, I lost all hope. The project that I work on is called Supported Options um, and it's supporting young people um, who don't have any immigration status. The impact of not having immigration status on a young person can affect almost every aspect of that, that young person's life. Um, it can affect their access to, to secondary health care, it can almost certainly prevent their progression to university, um, it can affect their housing, their access to uh, mainstream benefits, the right to work. Um, it can affect their social services support once they turn 18 and that could be stopped potentially. I find it really hard to look after myself you know, financially. I went to look for a job you know, I applied for apprenticeships um, and I couldn't work, I wasn't allowed to work because I didn't have any legal status. When I met the Children's Society actually I was destitute, I didn't really have anywhere to live, I was just staying at a friend's house. It's really, really difficult for someone who um, is undocumented. Above all else it can affect their mental and emotional health um, and sense of identity if, if there's so much uncertainty about what, what their future is and, and whether they're allowed to stay permanently or not. I just felt like my life wasn't worth leaving. I wanted to kill myself at times. I wanted to commit suicide because I didn't know, you know, where my life was going. When I first met Navdeep about a year and a half ago, um, he was in a very difficult and precarious situation. He'd been waiting um, over two years for a decision from the Home Office um, and during that time he couldn't access any form of benefits, um, he couldn't progress to university um, and his, his future was just extremely uncertain. You know, I felt really low. Seeing all my other friends working and going to universities, it just made me feel like, why can't I be just like them? Why can't I just have a normal life? Why do you think the issue of um, young people's immigration status isn't picked up sooner? I think there are lots of different reasons, but one of them is that people just often find it very, very complicated. I mean, the, as you know, the, the immigration asylum processes in the UK are very complex, and I think um, people do need to access specialist advice about it. I'm visiting Anita Hurrell at the Coram Children's Legal Centre to find out what help is available. If somebody's been in the UK since a, a very early age um, and they've lived here for a long time with no legal status, it's very important that steps are taken to actually resolve immigration status and it may be that certain applications can be made before the child turns 18 that wouldn't be possible after they turn 18. Where can professionals go to seek help for um, young people? Here at Quorum Children's Legal Centre we have an advice line um, and it can be, so children and young people can call the, our advice line themselves or email, um, but it's also open to, to professionals, so anybody can contact us and ask for initial advice about the situation and what somebody's legal rights might be. Um, it's very important that social workers take steps to um, not provide advice themselves, but to try and ensure that um, children and young people um, access quality legal advice and get a solicitor if they need one. I'm off to meet Solange Valdez at the Ealing Law Centre, who specialises in immigration law. And I'm here to see you, Solange. How come children born in the UK aren't already British? 
As far as the assumption that because you're born in the UK and have a birth certificate, British birth certificate, that does not mean that a child or a person would be British. The law changed on the 1st of January 1983. Um, before then, yes, a child born in the UK would be British automatically, regardless of the parent status. If it has been established that a child is not already British, um, it is possible for a child, for instance, who was born in the UK, has completed his first 10 years in the UK, um, to register by entitlement, by right, as British citizens. That's one of the many scenarios that a, a child can register. Very often assumptions are made about children who are being looked after by the local authority that they are already British and nothing is done to regularise or to register them as British. The impact is tremendous. Um, often, very often, the child turns 18 and then when he or she is trying to go to university they get the shock of their lives not having any rights, not having any status and not being able to access education, student loans for instance. What advice would you have uh, for professionals working in the care sector? There's no legal aid anymore. That has made it very difficult for children to access legal advice, free legal advice. Um, now there are a number of organisations and projects like this one who give free legal advice and we specialise on children and their rights and citizenship. Aside from the, the direct casework that we offer to young people, we also do a lot of training at the moment. So we're going round to um, independent reviewing offices and social work teams um, across London just to raise awareness of some of the issues. I think social workers usually think about immigration status in terms of the parent status. But we had the training from the Children's Society and that really highlighted the need um, to think about the child's immigration status. Um, early, as early as possible in terms of their future prospects for any children where there's any suspicion that they might have issues, it doesn't hurt to ask. I really hope from this awareness raising that more and more professionals will um, recognise the importance of um, immigration um, as being integral to a child or young person's future in the UK. If you're working with young people, please check the immigration status early and sorting this out soon it can make such a big impact on their lives.